What's up tubers? Teo here, Simplistic Fishing, coming back at you tonight to do the six cent sack drawing. That's right, we've got three of these beautiful six cent sacks. And if you watch the video before, you will know that inside of these, we also have the magical trace bait. Now, the other boxes I haven't even opened yet, so I have no idea what kind of trace bait might be in here. You can see the seal's still there. It's still even got the number on it. So we're giving these away, all three of them, tonight. Let's go do a drawing and see who wins these things. As I mentioned, tonight is the night. Tonight's the night that we give away three of these six cent sacks sack subscriptions to one of our lucky, or actually three of our lucky subscribers. But before we do that, a couple of things we want to do before we do the drawing. I always like to get the anticipation going. Is we got to go back, look at this bag really quick, see what was in here. Remember, I've got two more that are still in the box. And then we're going to go take a look at the comments. The comments are always super funny, super interesting. It's hilarious what you guys put out there, and so I always like to share that with you guys. And then after that, we're going to switch over. We're going to do the whole wheel of names, so we'll spin that around and have some celebrations and things like that, and we'll finish up the video. So let's go ahead and get started. First off, in this sack, wasn't a ton of stuff in here, right? I think it's because we had that trace bait, but we did have the six cent spinner bait. This is a really cool looking color. It's got that purple on it. It usually does good later on in the summertime if you're throwing any type of bait with some purple or some blue on it. Now the spinner bait for me is more of a fall or a spring type lure, uh, but definitely we're getting very close to that time of year to start throwing the spinner baits again. So awesome that they sent us that. We've also got the Six Cents Hybrid Swim Crank. Now I've tried this a few times, never caught a fish on it. It looks super cool though. I think if I stuck with it, I could probably catch a fish on it. This is more just mimicking the shad, you know, fishing this off the tops of points. If you see them busting shad or if you see shad around, throw this, this lure out there. It's basically just to throw it out and retrieve it back. I don't think there's much to it. Uh, maybe, you know, read the, back of the, read the back of the box. Maybe it'll tell you some tricks or get online and see if there's any tricks on how to retrieve that. But my retrieval for this has basically just been cast it out and bring it back. All right, next up, we've got the Quake. 80 suspending lipless crankbait now here you go right here again this is not really to me a uh, a summertime lure could be um but i would not get the suspending one i get the ones that sink and then pop them off the bottom if i was going to use in the summer but as far as fall goes and as far as spring especially pre-spawn this is a pre-spawn lure that you need to put in your tackle box and keep in your tackle box because you will absolutely tear them up in the spring, I'm talking early, early spring, you'll tear them up with this bait in early spring and sometimes, usually happens, in the fall you can get on a lipless crankbait that is unbelievable and you it'll shock you how easy it is to catch big fish just throwing that thing out and bringing it back, throwing it out and bringing it back. Um, it's definitely a fall thing so definitely try it out, but that specific color and the fact that that one's suspending, I'd probably hold that one off a little bit, you know, until more pre-spawn because I think that's when you're going to see the most action on that lure. All right, let's keep going. See what else we got in here. We've also got these new baits. These are called Aussie 4.0. They basically look like a uh, like a chatterbait trailer, or you could put it on it on a jig head and use it just as a normal swim bait. It's got kind of a a break in its tail. You'll be able to see it a little bit in here, but you can see. I mean, basically you could throw this on the back of a swim bait, a chatter bait, you could throw it by itself. You could put it on the back of a swim bait even. I don't know, There's all kinds of stuff you could put it on, but you can use that, another shad imitator. And then the big thing that was in this bag, I guess there's one more. We've got the trailer hooks, right? That was our key word, the old trailer. And you guys were hilarious on the, uh, the trailer comments. And now we've got the last thing in here is gonna be the six inch trace swim bait. Now, as I mentioned, I'm pretty sure the other boxes are going to have the same thing. We ordered them all at the same time. They came in at the same time and all of that. But what I've known for the Six Sense guys is they typically don't put the same exact colors in every single box. So we may get a slow sinking here, one here. In box two, we may have a floating. In box three, we may have a fast sinking. I don't know, and no one will know because I'm keeping the boxes completely sealed until I send them off to you. So our next step, now that we've gone through everything, we've talked about the swim baits, talked about all the baits that are in here, it is time to go look at the comments. Let's roll. All right, let's jump in and take a look at some of these awesome comments that you guys out here. Now I have to admit, 
I'm running short on time, so I'm having to uh, to kind of do this by the seat of my pants. So this is almost live, right? I'm recording it, but it's almost live. So first time I've seen these comments. So my apologies if you put out a really good comment out there and I skimmed over it. I've only got so much time. I try not to bore you guys with these comments, but I always like to bring them up as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into this thing. First off, we got Bass1445. He says, great looking baits. I just put an old man step and a grab bar in the front of my trailer. Dude, I love that was the greatest idea ever invented. Well, maybe not ever, but other than forward-facing sonar, that was one of the best inventions we've seen in a while as far as the old man step in the grab bar. So love those things on the on the trailers. Yes, David, I totally agree. A trailer is a must on a bladed jig. Uh, Delilah Woods says, thanks again, Tyler, for all you've done for the Texas fishing industry. I get to go fish a few tournaments on Big Sam Rayburn, and the one thing I like to do is to get the trailer for is is to get to the trailer for most of the events. Sorry, I totally jacked that up. I think what he means is like he gets to trailer to those events. And that's some of the most part. I agree, man. I love the events that are trailer events. The only issue I have, Delisle, is they make me a little nervous because of cheaters. So I'm cool if they'll come in and check the live wells before they go um, out to whatever they're at. But as far as just starting the tournament with no live well checks, that always makes me nervous. Um, there's some dishonest people out there. So, but anyways, usually you can still beat them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's keep going. Uh, E-S-C-H-I-T-1, that is how you actually spell your name. You're going to notice on the next part when we're spinning the name, I totally butchered your name. and I think I put it S-E, but I got you covered. Don't worry. But let's go ahead and look at this one. This is going to remind everyone not to forget about maintenance on your boat trailer. I slacked off last winter with mine and ended up losing one set of bearings and having two blowouts so far this year. Service your boat trailers. Amen, brother. I have been um, pretty much you know, guilty of, of charge for sure. And I have learned that every time I change my oil, I always go back through now on my trailer, which sounds crazy, which is about every six months, go back on my trailer and completely service it. And that definitely limits the amount of issues that I've had trailer and back and forth to the lakes. All right, let's keep going. Uh, we got Doyle Mitchell. He says, I'm watching your videos about your lake maps and I found out that I'm still trailing far behind you on the understand the waypoints. Thanks for the info. You're welcome, Doyle. Uh, Tony, Tony Wagner, and I think I actually screwed up uh, your name too. I think I put it Tanya Wagner, but uh, Tony Wagner Outdoors, my bad. Uh, I need to start throwing baits with the trailer more. Yes, yes, definitely trailer baits are good. Let's go on down a little bit more. Always got to take a look at Tyler Austin's because Tyler's part of the Ray Hubbard Bass Club that I've mentioned to you guys before. If you're here in the local DFW area, what a great club to be part of. Really good guys, honest as heck, fun. Uh, we just have a good time. So definitely go check that out, Ray Hubbard Bass Club. Let's see what he says. He says, when you guys are servicing your boats for the season, don't forget the trailer. Imagine that. Tyler says the same thing. A lot of people do come to regret it. And you know why he says that is because he's been at a lot of these Ray Hubbard tournaments and he's seen us all screw up with our trailers and not service them and have a lot of issues. So Tyler's absolutely right. All right, let's keep going on. Uh, Fort Worth Pond Hoppers. I like it. Uh, let's let's keep going now. One more cast. The Divine Swim Bait would be the ticket with a trailer hook for some of the fat smallies. Uh, thanks for another chance to win Simplistic Fishing. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, One More Cast. Thank you for everything you guys do for me. You guys have definitely changed my life, so I appreciate it. Uh, Nathan's Outdoors Addiction. A year ago, I purchased a John Bowden trailer. I plan on doing some updates to it. Just haven't had much of a chance, but at least I have a boat and a trailer to fish out of. It beats sitting on the bank all the time, even though I love bank fishing times. Thanks for the opportunity. You know, you're right, Nathan. It, you know, we all have to start somewhere. I started in kayaks, and then I went to a John boat, and then I went to a, a fishing ski that I can afford, and and now I'm I'm blessed to have a pretty awesome boat, you know, with 21 footers and was actually able to give my son one as well. But um, definitely, uh, hey, just to stick with it, man. Times, times will get better. You'll get opportunities and eventually you will be on the, uh, you know, in the big boat too, if you want to be. But if not, man, I've caught so many fish out of a John boat. I probably caught more fish out of my flat bottom John boat with a 15 horsepower on it than I ever did on the 21 footer. Because on the 21 footer, do you think you need to go everywhere? Whereas the John boat, you pick your spot, you stay there and you catch a lot of fish. So there's something to be said about that. All right, let's keep going. I know I'm just run, rambling on, so we'll keep going on. Uh, we're going to see if we can find a poem in here. Bassman looks like he's got one for us. I was out at the creek. It was raining like crazy. I was getting mad because the fish were being lazy. Short strike here, short strike there was getting short strikes everywhere. So I added a trailer and now I have fish everywhere. That is, I've seen that happen, Bassman, for sure. For sure. I've even seen trailer hooks that they make now for the frogs, which I'm kind of against because I don't want to hurt the fish. 
Um, but I'm telling you, in a, in a tournament, if they are short striking, if you put that little trailer hook on the frog, um, it will work definitely. It's just for me, it gets a little bit too close, too close for comfort for me. I'm afraid I'm putting the fish in a little bit of danger by using it. Um, let's keep going on, see what else we can find, see if we can find a couple here that have some poems. Roll down to the lake with my yak on the trailer, trying to hook up a beautiful tin. If I skunk out today, I feel like a failure. But a few dinks on the line, I'll count as a win. Absolutely, for sure. Rocket Blades, thank you, Cher. I, I love this name, Mr. Chicken. My brother and I were fishing in local tournaments. But while we were putting the boat on the trailer, the check in time passed. Laughing out loud, we would have won. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. you got to pay attention to the details, for sure. Um, hopefully, you'll win another one, Mr. Chicken. All right, let's keep going down. We're almost done. Uh, let's go... Uh, we're going to do JD Clan and KOA, and we'll finish on that, all right? So here we go. JD Clan fishing. You always got good stuff for us. We launched the Skeeter after backing the trailer. Set out on Texoma like a bona fide sailor. The wind raged high like an angry sailor, but we charged towards the spot, ignoring the danger. Seeking big smallies, one worthy of a scaler, we chased for a monster, a true holy grailer. Then got a call from the wife, a real plan derailer. You better get home by dark or I'll need a bailer. <laughs> That's pretty good, J.D. Clay. I like it. I don't know how you come up with this stuff. And then let's look at KOA. Just missed a bite. It was a short strike. Should have put on a trailer. Now I'm cursing like a sailor. Amen to that. I've done that a thousand times. All right, guys, let's go ahead and switch over. Like I mentioned, I butchered a couple names here on the wheel. So my apologies. I've got your name right. So if you do win, I'll figure it out eventually. But let's go over. Let's take a look. And let's see who's going to win the six cent sacks this evening. Well, we finally made it to the wheel of names to see who our three lucky winners this month are going to be. And let's go ahead and not waste any time. We're going to go ahead and click this thing and see who's going to win. You're going to see everybody's name in here. We had 43 entries. Let's go. Here we go. Who's it going to be? I can't even tell. It's going too fast. Tracy Newman, we passed you. DIVMP, we passed you. Cameron Rowland is close. East Texas Pines, you're so close. You want it. East Texas Pines is the winner for this month. I don't believe East Texas Pines has won before. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but I know you have been a huge supporter of the channel, so thank you very much. All you need to do is send me an email to tyler at simplisticfishing.com verifying your name, East Texas Pines 2748, somehow, some way. Once you do that, send me your address. I'll get this box shipped out to you. And don't forget to come back next month because we'll be giving away again. All right, East Texas Pines, congratulations on being the winner. Man, I really would like to, uh, to have that swim bait that you're getting. But it's all yours. All right, what I'm going to do, though, is you can't win two more boxes, East Texas. So I got to kick you out, bro. So here you go. We're removing you. Now we're down to 42 entries. And here we go for our second box winner. Let's go ahead and click this wheel and see who's going to win this thing. Will it be Six Cents Junkie? He's been in here a lot. Delilah Woods has been in here a lot. Doyle Mitchell. Oh, yes, it is. It's Doyle Mitchell 14, or sorry, Doyle Mitchell 4181. Man, I'm totally jacking this up. Doyle Mitchell 4181. All you need to do, send me an email, tyler at simplisticfishing.com, verifying you are this username, and then send me your address, and I will go ahead and get that box shipped out to you. I don't even know what your trace swim bait's going to be because that box has never even been opened. So let me know. Send back a comment once you get it, or send me some pics, put them out on social media, whatever you need to do to help us out would really be appreciated. Doyle, congratulations on winning the six cent subscription. Just like East Texas Pines though, I'm sorry, buddy, I gotta boot you. So now you've been removed and now we're down to 41 people. We've got Tony Wagner, who, or sorry, Tanya Wagner Outdoors, who just barely missed it. I've actually got this username in wrong. I know it's ES, I, I keyed these in manually, so apparently I'm, I'm a little dyslexic and had that wrong, but don't worry, buddy, I got you covered. We've got Tyler Austin out here who's, who's put in a bunch. Ricky's been out there a bunch as well. Robert Stevenson, I think he made one a box. Can't remember if Robert's won one or not. You have to let me know. Uh, All is outdoors. I know they were one of our winners. Luke, uh, you've won it before as well. So let's go ahead and run through here and see who our last and final winner for this month is going to be. Here we go. Ready? She's a spinning. She's a rolling. She's all over the place. Is it going to be Frick so Texas man? No. Is it Jeff Worthman? It is. Jeff, you are the lucky winner this month of the Sixth Cent Sack, just like 
Uh, Mr. Mitchell, I have no idea what trace swim bait you're going to have in that box, but I know it's going to be a good one, man. Send me an email, tyler at simplisticfishing.com, verifying that you are Jeff Worthman. And as long as you do that and send me your address, I will get that box shipped out to you right away. Now, for all the rest of you that are crying in tears because you've you've been in this thing for months and months and months and never won, never give up, right? Never, ever, ever give up. Come back next month. A box is already on the way. I should have a video out here in a couple of weeks and we'll be doing the giveaway. Don't forget, go out, check out our website, simplisticfishing.com. We keep adding those lake breakdowns like crazy. It's keeping me really busy. All you guys are keeping me busy buying it too. So I really Really, really, really appreciate that. We're going to continue to pump those things out, not just for Texas, but for all across the United States. So if you've got lake ideas and you want us to break down a lake that you don't see out on the site yet, send it to us. It will take us a while to get there, but we will eventually get them all covered. Guys, until next time, I hope you go out and catch your PB. Take it easy.